region when it comes to their characters, Incineroar and DK, I'd say. Oh, that makes me so um, excited. So, I have no idea. I've never seen these two play. I've never seen these two characters play in, like, a hot sec. So, <laughs> we're going to say. Hard hitters, explosive, probably killing early, but they're both heavy at the same time, so we'll see. Yeah, Immediate man. explosive <laughs> that start! That was insane. That was some Hulk Hogan style. No. MRW. If I see a single character go over 30% now, all right, that does. <laughs> oh, going right for it again. Dingus is greedy for those smashes. Yeah, MRW really coming out strong. I think he's just seeing this DK as a bigger target, you know? Oh, yeah. It's all just jungle food. Uh, he is the cat in the bush watching and waiting for that down, <laughs> down air. So, I look away. I feel like he's hit him like four times, and he's already at 140 again on him on oh, the yeah. second stock. Croft has got to start to figure out this neutral game and get him off stage more. Yeah, Maybe whoa, keep okay. him off stage. Keeping him at that disadvantage where, you know, he was able to sign on him before, but if you can't get near, what are you going to do as Incineroar? Like, It's hard for Incineroar to recover low, and he kind of has to do that against DK, but before DK can get another shot, it's already a two-stock game. Oh, and there we go. There's the revenge. Hitting 33. <laughs> oh. This is already looking... Oh, oh okay, there we go. Clean, uh, confirmed I love me there. a good bongo bongo into that up smash. Just beautiful to look at. The DK bongos instead of a cat in his eyes. Now we got the Incin juggle right now. Keeping him off stage. 103. What do we go? Oh, clean. Very set up there. nice hit. Dingus is just keeping him at bay. And just every single time I'm looking, just every single. Oh my Ooh, god. Clean on him. Was that just a back throw? That was just a back throw. I'm, I'm surprised to kill that early he was with that heavy. It looked like. Yeah, but I figure with DK's heavy boy. He I thought it would take a, I, thought, I thought it would take a little bit more, but hey. He is one thick monkey, but have yeah. you seen the arms on Incineroar? They're they're pretty <laughs> jacked. He's got a, he's got some gains. Oh yeah. I uh, got gains for days. Yeah. Every time Incineroar uses neutral B and hits revenge, it's actually him injecting pure steroids in his oh arms. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got the hunter over here saying that MRW, MRW said he has a heavy problem. Man, he's he's not. I don't believe you. Well, I... yeah. according to my doctor, I also have a heavy problem, but I blame COVID. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, it's, uh, MRW's proven proven himself wrong, I guess. Right, so let's see if let's see if Dingus can recreate the beginning of that last match too, though, where just I couldn't even comprehend what was happening before DK lost. That was 40% off a of fair just because of the revenge. That is absurd. Well, obviously that just seems completely fair considering what the rest of this cast can do. I would be okay if Incineroar could deal about 200% per hit. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching melee. You know, there's like four hits and then they're dead. Yeah. I mean, it's not the uh, the the quantity of hits; it's the quality of oh, hits absolutely. when it comes to these big boys. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, Ooh, off the ropes. Through. Already at a 147, pretty high up. Uh, Incineroar was kill getting these kills early, and I think this is living kind of long compared to last game. Yeah, I'm actually really shocked to see Ooh, these the percentages even get above the 100. And that'll do it. That simple gimp is going to do it for probably both of these characters if they can land it. So let's see if Incineroar can land almost any hit and just even out this game, uh, which is the most exciting part to me about any sort of heavy mirror match. You can never really count any of them out. Where they, they can just get a kill at any moment before you know it. And that makes them so much more exciting to me. Ooh, the up throw. I'm seeing, I'm seeing this better spacing here from Croft. I think that he's not getting opened up as easily as he was, but as I say it... It definitely seems like Croft has been learning the Incineroar more and more. Yeah. Uh, the first stock, you know, was just a test run. Croft was like, you know what, you could use this, because by the end of this, I'm going to know everything you're going to do. That's and I'm going to take back all of what I just said. <laughs> a hard read. <laughs> Unfortunate uh, drift in there from Croft. I'm trying to get away. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of spaghetti here. <laughs> a little bit of a... Uh, Unsure of what to do next here, a little bit overwhelmed by Incineroar, but when it comes to these characters, Ooh. a stock is not a lead. You know, I was shocked that DK has not gone a smash like that compared to the Incineroar, so seeing that just makes me feel real good. 90% is almost nothing where Incineroar can kill him at any moment, but DK can kill him too with any good combo. Well, you don't have to worry about getting up from ledge when your opponent's buried at the ledge. <laughs> very true. Alright, so let's see. Okay, trying to get a very greedy read. 
I know DK's at kill percent, but it really doesn't feel like DK's out of it considering how explosive he can be. Absolutely not. Now that Incineroar is off the stage too, so many limited options for him and DK just couldn't keep him off. All right. Uh, no revenge on that. Won't do it. Once again, tries to cover the ledge with the back with a side B. My heart is racing for these boys and I cannot imagine how they're feeling right now with these percentages last stock. The Oh, he catches it! That's a ballsy move! Oh, Croft is just a god. He didn't care. <laughs> the flaming kick. Covers on the ledge. Oh, both of them fishing for for back airs, and that is going to do it. That was awesome. Great job from both of our heavy, heavy boys. That was a way closer game, too. I love that game, too. I absolutely love that. I wish I could see a lot more of that exact thing. I mean, I like game one also. But it really felt like Croft was starting to figure out. Game three, if there was a game three, I have no idea who would have done that. I, I, game three, I definitely would have put more on Croft. Guys, make sure to always hit the plus one and the plus one. Oh, I forgot that we were in charge of that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties from us. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, my God, bro. I literally called the RWI. I was like, dude, are you on track? It's zero, zero. What are you doing? He's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just one and done. <laughs> I forgot that was us because I thought he I, he controls the camera, but I guess we still have this. We have the stream labs. We have the rest of it. We have they to give do our us, jobs. They give us the easiest thing to do. <laughs> it's very it's very like plus one minus one yeah. and no, I can't do it. Uh, to be fair, I'm a.